So I promised myself I wasn't going to buy any more junk phones, but I have a compulsive need to own useless, quirky, obsolete tech. Thus, the result, these three Nokias, you know what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So, I don't know, here they are, uh, they're disassembled, dismantled. Here are the trim pieces for the back, the, the leads for the batteries, whatever. All of them have removable batteries, all the same model. Uh, one of them I managed to charge, I think, I believe it's this one, but I'm not certain. So I'll just try them all and see which one bites. By the way, I don't know if these phones work at all, but uh, if there's a good chance that they work, I, 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 my money's on this one. So I bet this simple Nokia 1208 will work even after, uh, I don't know, I think only an EMP wave could kill this one. So let's just try it on for size and see whether I can uh, turn it on. And yeah, so right off the bat, the 1208 Nokia model uh, is working. Uh, here's the back plate, back lid thing. It's not in a great condition. It's well worn, but not, I don't know, it's not broken off. It's not, um, it, did, it didn't suffer a lot. It's just cuffed. So let's just push the demo button. Um, yeah, so it's a color screen. Um, there's also, I think, polyphonic sounds, uh, but no camera, no music, no stuff like that. Um, I think, though, it has radio. So it has some games. Um, let's see what games. Nature Park and... Uh, um, what is this? These are setup snake, of course, the staple Nokia game. Rapid roll, I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. It's got a 1.5 inch screen. Uh, it's pretty tiny at 10 centimeters tall, uh, at about 4.4 centimeters wide, uh, less than two centimeters thick. It has a flashlight on top, which was another Nokia staple. It started with the 1100 series, the Nokia 1100, and they went on with it from there on. Um, the 1.5 inch screen is a CSTN technology with 65,000 colors, whatever that means. So there's no memory card. Uh, the phone book has 20, 200 entries, so that you should consider that the whole memory. Uh, there's call records. Oh no, there's four megabytes of internal memory, though I don't know what you would use that one for. Uh, and interestingly enough, it says it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Yes, though it has the 2.5 mini jack version. I thought as much since this thing, uh, well, it's not supposed to do much, but at least a jack it should have. No Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth, no GPS, no radio, no USB, so no radio. Um, nothing else really, so just a simple phone from a simpler era. Uh, question of the day, is this thing worth something? No. Will it worth something? No. I suspect that this was sold by the millions, literally. So I don't think it's going to be worth anything more than a couple of euros, maybe 10 to 15 euros or dollars, even 50 years from now on. Plus the build construction is not that uh, quality inducing uh, feeling um, um, stuff. So. Um, it's not going to stir any hearts in the near future. So really, um, no, this thing will never have value. Moving on, let me just close it up. The next one is not so interesting either. Uh, it's the Nokia something or other. 
the Nokia 113. Though this seems to be a bit of an upgrade, let me just try to focus on the specs. So yeah, this is the Nokia 113, 113. Let me just get back to the presentation. I shall be switching the same battery because I only managed to charge the one and let me just connect it. Um, yeah, I have to put it backwards like so. And for the sake of um, presentation, I shall put the back plate as well. And there it is. So let's see if this thing's turn on. This thing turns on. Yes, it does. Already you can see it's got a brighter screen. Yeah, again, touch screen. <laughs> uh, madness made me uh, pr press this accept button, but obviously this is not touch screen. So force of habit. Nokia 113. Let's see what this thing is all about. So yeah, it's got a 1.7, 1.8-inch display and a 0.3-megapixel camera. There we go. So it's a VGA resolution camera. It was launched in 2012. It's discontinued quite predictably. It's got a TFT 65 kilo, 65,000 color screen dealy and it's already looking a bit more colorful and vibrant, though not by much. Um, it's got call records, <laughs> 1000 entries in the address book, uh, 16 megabytes of internal memory, so already four times as much memory as this one, yay. Now, really, I'm just being mean for no reason. These are feature phones, so really you shouldn't expect much, though this one does sport the obligatory jack in full size. So not a mini jack, but a, a big um, jack, the 3.5 millimeter. It's got Bluetooth 2.1, though no wireless. It's got stereo FM radio with RDS and recording capabilities, presumably on those 16 megabytes of memory it has. The battery is a removable lithium ion BL5B um, deal. What is it called? A BL5CB. So yeah, um, price for this one is about was about 70 euros at the time of the launch. This is laughable because today 70 euros worth of phone will get you a pretty decent Android device, although bargain basement. But anyway, uh, question of the day, will this be a collectible item? Again, no, I don't think so. It doesn't have a great build quality. It's a bit shinier than the Nokia, this 1208 piece, but that doesn't work in its favor because it feels more flimsy than it actually is. The shiny plastic does not help it. Let's just check out the camera for, I don't know, for um, some purpose, <laughs> whatever that might be. So yeah, the camera is laughable, though it does have a zoom option. I don't really know why. Let's see, let's try to, pic to take a picture of another phone. Okay. So you can opt to view this and to zoom in. Well, really the result is not that bad actually. Some details have been kept, though this might be the illusion of, you know, the screen being a small resolution and whatever. So anyway, um, no, it's not a collectible item. No, it doesn't have any real value due to the fact that, well, this thing has been built 
by the bucket load as well. So not even 50 years from now will it be considered something like an object of desire or of um, a collector's dream. So let's move on to the third option. Let me just close down this phone. and see if I can get to the third one. Well, obviously I can. So the third option is this Nokia 1800. Already an upgrade uh, from a design standpoint. I can see this thing uh, capitalizing on the Nokia E51 and E52 design, I believe. So the same, I don't know, a rectangular bar shape, but with uh, chamfers and uh, chisels here and there. And yeah, uh, a bit of a curved uh, glass screen hint here, but only for the cover, though it's all plastic, fantastic. Another, and not of exceptional quality. It's not bad though, it's, flimsy mainly because it's light and, well yeah you get the idea so start it up right away so really all of these three devices are laughable in today's market they don't really have a collectible factor um, they're plastic fantastic all the way and you can see that <laughs> crackling sound is not really confidence inspiring though they are well built this one I didn't close correctly, so sorry about that. Uh, out of all these three, I suspect this one has the most units sold, so this will still be around 100 years from now, not uh, being a, uh, not uh, bringing in a lot of value. This is a bit uh, uh, of a niche uh, market. This uh, 113, this 1208 is the mainstream, and this. Uh, 1800 model is just capitalizing on the whole uh, E51 uh, wave uh, bandwagon back then. It's got even a hint of a 3D glass or 2.5D glass on the side, so modern looking design but uninspiring end, end result. Uh, as I've said, I don't consider them to be valuable or uh, desirable in any way sort of fashion. I just wanted to show you what 10 euros worth of phone uh, could buy you at the local flea market. So yeah, I hate myself for buying them. It hasn't been a compulsive action. I just didn't have things to present on the channel. So uh, my plan is to uh, update um, this uh, flea market find uh, series once every month, sometimes with more interesting results than others. But anyway, that has been my time. And remember, I buy mostly useless, quirky and obsolete tech stuff, so you don't have to. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.